Hola, buena gente, and welcome to a quick tip video how to create your own free logo. We've covered paid methods on the MyNDI blog, but often we need just a simple free logo for niche sites or projects. And if you're not a designer with Adobe or other tools at your fingertips, uh, we're going to show you an easy way how to do it for free. So in the blog, we discuss certain paid methods, CrowdSpring, 99design, Logo Design Guru, Elance. I personally use 99designs and Logo Design. Both are pretty much the same, uh, pretty effective, but they do cost some money. So for a majority of my sites, uh, niche sites or whatever, I've used this simple free method and it does the job quite well. Uh, so the first step is to download GIMP and to start learning how to use this free tool. GIMP is an alternative to Photoshop. So it's free. It's uh, just go to GIMP.org and download that tool. The second step is to go and open up your Word or Excel file. Um, just open up Excel, start playing around, insert some Word art, and we'll we'll see what happens here. Um, let's just try mylogo.com. You can play with some of the different options that they've got here within Microsoft. You can edit some of these. Let's just do maybe logo.com. Maybe we can make this smaller. We can do a background if we want. And let's say that's our logo. So we've we've got a logo here. You can go ahead and copy that. Open up your paint, a free tool on your computer. Paste it in there. Select it. Crop it. Save. We'll do it as a JPEG. My logo. And it'll be on our desktop. Once you've got your logo saved to your desktop there, often that's all you need to do, but there's some times where you're going to want to edit the background. Uh, maybe your website's background color is gray and you don't want this blue showing up. You want just your words with a transparent background. So I want to show you how to do that with GIMP. That's one of the main tools that I, I use uh, GIMP for here. So one, one tool is a fuzzy select. There's others you can cut around more accurately, but we're just going to use that for now to show you an example. Select the background. Control X will cut it out. Select and invert your selection. So now you've got the word selected. We're going to Control X and cut that. Open a new file under Advanced Options. Select fill with transparency. So you're going to basically have your background filled with transparency. So this background here is transparent. There's no background. Go ahead and control V, paste it in there. Double click anchors the text and let's cut out those other ones that didn't get cut out yet. Just as a quick example. And we can go ahead and export that file. When you export files, what you're going to want to do is save them as PNGs. And GIMP automatically comes up with that since you did a transparent background. So my logo transparent background. And we'll save that to the desktop. And now you've got one logo with a blue background and one logo with a transparent background.